Thưa quý vị, vào cuối tuần này có một cuốn phim độc lập khác sẽ được trình chiếu tại vùng Bắc Mỹ. Đó là cuốn phim mang tên The Tribe do Myro Slave Slapo Pipsky làm đạo diễn và đã từng thắng nhiều giải thưởng ở Đại hội Điện ảnh Cannes năm 2014, bao gồm cả giải thưởng Critics Week Grand Prix. Đây là một bộ phim đầu tay của ông nói lên những gì xảy ra trong một thế giới hoàn toàn bị cô lập qua khung cảnh của một trường học dành cho học sinh cầm điếc ở bên Ukraine. Một lần nữa chúng tôi xin được gửi đến quý vị của phỏng vấn đặc biệt của phóng viên Carolyn về The Tribe. This is Kira Lynn, and I'm here with writer and director Miroslav Slavoshpitsky of the movie The Tribe. This has been described as a visionary film. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Mm. The Tribe, in fact, is a modern silent film, and I'm so happy that it was screened in the theater, which specifies it on the, on the silent movie, so it's a great proud for me, because I was my a modern silent movie, it was a, something like a of silent movie, it was, uh, you know, it was a modern silent movie of the, in the 21st century, so. I hear that Charlie Chaplin was, was a bit of an inspiration for you. Uh, yeah, some people ask me, uh, the tribe is a, partly the brutal film, and uh, yeah, and uh, they mentioned the film from Murnau and any other, as a serious drama, uh, uh, silent dramas, but uh, of course I, I tell that Charlie Chaplin, the Max Sennett and Harold Lloyd and as well Buster Keaton inspired the film more because I have the very physical film. Uh, of course it's not a comedy, unfortunately, but uh, it's very physical film, it's the same like, like, like the comedy from the childhood of the cinema, like the first comedies. Well I hear, well this is your first screenwriting and directorial debut with an all-deaf cast. How did you come up with the concept? Mm. In fact, uh, when I was a young boy, I studied uh, in the school. By the way, it's the same school when we shoot in the film Tribe later. And the opposite side of the road, we have a deaf boarding school. Mm -hmm. So, and I see uh, how deaf people communicate between each other with support and sign language. And for me, it looks like a miracle. For me, these people looks like uh, communicated of any highest level of communication. They do not need a word, and they can directly exchange by feelings and emotions. And I really want to share this my feelings with audience. You know, you decided to go with a mostly deaf cast. Um, what was the? What was? You know, you could have gone with. You know well hearing actors that could hear perfectly but you decided to go this route why exactly i am never considered the option uh, invited uh, hearing actors because it's you know it's the same problem like with uh, uh, hearing actors with accent in american movie so uh, i need the people who spoke in like a native speaker uh, who spoke in on the side language from childhood i need the people uh, which do not think in which sign I must do in this or that moment. I need the people who can communicate uh, on, this, uh, on this language very naturally. So I never consider this option. How was the casting process for that? It's very funny because in Ukrainian you can come to the casting agency and ask please provide me a number of deaf people with a special ages and the special conditions. It's, it's impossible. Um, uh, before the tribe, I was shot the show. I was shoot the short film Deafness, mm -hmm. and after that, I have very nice connection with Deaf Society of Ukraine. So when I start working on the tribe, uh, the Deaf Society of Ukraine really support me. We, I think, the casting continues approximately half on the year, and uh, we we have two or two or three auditions per month. And uh, in between, we share information about our casting uh, from all ways that we can, especially we are social network because the deaf people is very enthusiastic viewers, uh, users of social networks. And uh, so, and uh, we have approximately 300 persons from Ukrainian, Russia, and Belarus on the casting and finally find these actors which you saw in the movie Tribe. You know, your concept in this day and age, you know, there hasn't been anything really like it. You know, when you presented this to, you know, 
trying to get financing. How, how was that for you? Was it difficult? Was it, was it hard to relay what your vision ultimately, what you ultimately wanted on the screen? Mm. Yeah, it's not so easy, but uh, I think it's not to be, it's so easy to be a film director in every country, the United States, Europe, Ukraine, I think it's a, it's a difference, but uh, you know, it's the same. Everybody's spoken about the funding, about the budget, how, 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 how you can get the money for the next film. Uh, it doesn't matter where you're from, from United States or United Kingdom or Czech or Poland or Albania, for example. Uh, uh, I was make a several short film, which was international acclaimed, and received a number of prizes of international festival, and uh, I can get a support from Ukrainian uh, state film agency as well from Hubert Bell's Fund of International Film Festival Rotterdam in Netherlands. So thank them, and that they give me the possibilities to shoot this film. <laughs>